when people look at my business card and it says CAP at the end of my name, they know that I am technically astute in automation. You have to have some creative brilliance, so you have to be able to do math, you have to be able to do computer science, you have to understand manufacturing process. This is an individual who can talk to a mechanical engineer, an electrical engineer, sometimes a chemical engineer, and a software engineer, and bring all of these things together. It's an elite group that truly get the full picture, the big picture, and that's really what CAP's all about. My name is Kim Miller Dunn and I'm a certified automation professional. The CAP exam is about more than theoretical knowledge, it's about having experience. I'm Dave Adler and I'm a certified automation professional. Automation is not something you learn in six months, it's not something you could uh, have an engineering degree and six months later pass this exam. You have to have uh, some minimum number of years, I think it's five years if you have an engineering degree. If you are non-degree or an associate's degree, it's 10 years. My name is Greg Lehman, and I'm a certified automation professional. It is a very comprehensive exam that tests abilities across the board. My name is Jacob Jackson, and I'm a certified automation professional. It's not just about the oil and gas industry. It's not just about building systems. It's about the entire automation professional. My name is Paul Galeski, and I'm a certified automation professional. If you pass the CAP exam, you have a good, broad background in the automation industry. My name is Dean Ford. I am a certified automation professional. It's a differentiator. It, it says, you know, I took the time, I have the, the belief, I have I've demonstrated the knowledge to become a certified automation professional. My name is Nick Sands and I'm a certified automation professional. If I see a, a CAP certification on a resume, then that to me is the indication that that person is interested in developing themselves and, and reaching their potential. And that's one of the key characteristics I look for when making a hiring decision. My name is Vernon Trevathan and I'm a certified automation professional. In fact, there are a few companies right now that say you cannot be promoted to a certain level in this organization unless you have the CEP. My name is Scott Sifford and I'm a certified automation professional. It was one more feather in my cap and allowed me to get a promotion. If you want to become a senior engineer or a senior control system specialist, you will have a cap. The bottom line for it is that the company's productivity will improve as a result of having better automation. CAP has a strong emphasis on safety. It makes me sleep a little better at night that, that folks do have this competency and, and are certified. You could almost say, I think I can say, that you cannot pass the CAP exam unless you have a strong understanding of safety instrumented systems. Then safety, of course, uh, how much is a, is a life worth? With the CAPS requirement for continu continuing education or professional development hours, uh, it's, I've got to stay up on the new technologies. Every three years, you've got to reapply uh, with some continuing education requirements. You are committing to staying on top of the technology. My name is Hamid Bahar. I'm a certified automation professional. The information, as we know, is changing per second. It's every day. If you don't really get on top of things, then you're not in the picture anymore. The CAP program is important to all automation professionals. When you try to go out there and look for work uh, in a very crowded field of others looking for work, having CAP uh, I think is a real positive. You need to be certified in order to make sure you can compete for that work. Whether it's at company A or company B, you've got the portability to take those skills. They're in you. They're part of you. Now we've got a way of proving it. The more credentials you have, the more job opportunities you're going to have, and probably the higher you will rise in an organization. Companies are just requiring credentials, and they want them to be third-party credentials. Well, ISA is the standards organization for the automation industry, period. I don't believe another organization has the investment into the automation profession as much as ISA does.
I've achieved a lot in my in my career, 24 years now, and I've got something to show for it. You know, it's not just a paycheck. It gives you an edge. You know that you're among the best engineers in the whole world. For an application, detailed eligibility requirements, study resources, and much more, go to isa.org slash cap. Become a certified automation professional. Document your specialized education, training, and knowledge in automation. Demonstrate your qualification, competence, and potential to current and future employers. Establish career paths and job advancement opportunities, and indicate your commitment to a career in automation. ISA is a nonprofit organization dedicated to the advancement and recognition of the automation profession.